I swear that Rox's gaze is following me. Still alive, so that's progress. In silence. Can't keep the goblins out forever. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. He stares right past you, as if you're invisible, or boring. Mm -hmm. mm. He's still staring right past you. You see nothing out of the ordinary. When you turn back, there's no trace of the child. My faith will guide me. Seems Look, like a good moment to talk. Take your... Oh! Hey! You're one of those drow, right? I heard stories about you. How you all live underground and steal kids away. Us too. No one says anything nice about tieflings. Here, want to see a trick? Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Call it, heads or tails. Heads it is. See? That's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Hey, not so loud. You caught me. All right. They're not lucky rings. I'm just trying to earn money for my family. My father left and my mother, she's so sick. I wish I had better things to sell than trinkets, but it's all I have. Thank you, that means so much. That's what I got. You bought some. You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. <sighs> you 
You notice she's trembling. The tears streaming down her cheeks are indeed real. <laughs> I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you here to trade, or...? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back! Oh, let me through, Radrashev, or I'll rip your damn throat out! <gasps> Give him a chance. You, step back. We'll not tolerate drow in here. Hand and I'll show you its claws. A moment, Giona. What? Why would she allow one of them? I... I suppose so. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead, but a word of warning. One wrong move and every single animal here will tear you apart. Moonsun, oh, remind me. 
No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song! I can't... Nothing fits, you know? True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it. But when you're stuck, and it's just getting worse... Ugh. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble, like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect! That it's okay. That I'll be okay. And thank you for everything. Support the stars tonight, smile and pain will fade away. Words 
Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. We didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Still smell it. <laughs> She'd yell at me for that clunky verse and make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do finish the Weeping Dawn for her. I have a long way to go, but thank you. Uh, I needed this. Anything of use? Should be easy. Forgive my surprise. It's rare to find your kind above ground. Rare and intriguing on a day already packed with intrigue. A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities. You search your mind, successfully recalling various details of goblin behavior. Goblins were of a rare jam-colored hue and wielded magic blowguns. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the Absolute when they fell upon the gates? They did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. 
I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Ah, but is superstition all? These goblins are informed by a kind of strategy anathema to their kind. I, for one, intend to get to the bottom of it. I'm just preparing to head to their camp as we speak, in fact. If you'll excuse me, I ought not to dawdle. Oh, never you mind. Who needs mercy when you've a quick tongue, hmm? And an invisibility potion stashed in your back pocket. Until we meet again. That we could speak freely, my Ursine friend. Alas, I've never learned to converse with your kind. Yes, yes, I'm quite aware. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. Girl. You mean parasite. She eats our food, drinks our water then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. I hear the Tree Father's spirit in your words. It is as you say. Sivisif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. <laughs> it hurts. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. I know that look. You're wondering why I was in pain before. Let's just clear the air about that now. It's just an old wound that hurts me from time to time. Nothing to be concerned about. It's nothing to do with the tadpoles, at least, in case your imagination is in danger of getting away from you. It's just something I have to live with. Quite a lot, if I'm being honest. But it always passes quickly, so I can manage. Positive. You can trust me on that.
A deep elf. In our grove, on this day. A sign. Or rather, a gift. Who better to understand a watchful broodmother than a beloved child of Loth? She made her choice. Ugh. I thought one like you might understand. When a threat makes itself known, you remove it. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. And mine perish if he stays. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. You will do more than speak. This tale ends but one way. With the Outlander rot cleansed, and the grove forever shrouded. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This medical. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. That's neither here nor there. Look, you obviously want something. What is it? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. A mind flare tadpole. I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. But him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. 
Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. All right. Let's see what we can do. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How do you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? Swear it. But you have to. Don't you understand? You could kill us all. Then I've no choice. I'm sorry. Step is the hardest. There's something in that vessel. Take a closer look.
this does. With haste. It's broken, but not too badly. Might be useful. Looks like Halsin's our best bet for a cure. Time to track him down and see what he knows. Assuming he's still alive. Speculation will get us nowhere. Let's go find him. It's been a long day. Oh, I'll need to rest soon. From root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural shows druids claiming the grove in the name of the old oak, Sylvanus, god of nature. Frontiers. Let's hope Will lives up to his name. We'll need all the help we can get. No one stopped me yet. Something's on my mind. We will even a moment. Indulging in a spot of vanity. Handsome devil, aren't I? Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of?
Spot on. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three, hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Need to go on? Day four, excruciating pain as the skeleton and organs reform and reposition. Day five, the host personality has disappeared. Fingers and toes and limbs elongate. I take it you get the picture? Day six, the flesh around the mouth splits to make way for tentacles. Day seven, a mind flayer is born. This is the annotated version, of course. The storyteller's gift. My point is this, our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. I'll toast to that. The pragmatic in me, however, sees only the silence before the storm. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. We meet again, as predicted. I shall be here in thy camp, for whenever thou hast need of my services. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Because it is my calling, there is little else to explain. So, we're traveling with the famed Blade of Frontiers. I feel safer already.